Welcome guys to another amazing Crash fan game today. You guys thought I wasn't gonna play any Crash Bandicoot, but this new fan game just got released. It's in kind of like a beta form right now, and Crystal Fisher just made a video about it. Um, but essentially, this is a uh, game made in the style of Crash Bandicoot 1 um, in Unity, so you could just download this. I'll have the link down uh, in the description down below to the website. It takes two seconds to load up, but um, I'm just gonna do a little playthrough of it for you guys today, so let's get into it, new game. Flashback tapes? I mean, what is that? I'll take a look at that later. Let's get into a level, shall we? <laughs> look at the fucking Times New Row. What is it, the fucking Helvetica font up there? <laughs> now, you know, it's a little rough around the edges, but one thing I love about these Unity games is that they're so smooth, right? I mean, like, just look at the 60 FPS on that. It's just very nice. So, you know, obviously a little rough. Oh, and the way the... I love the way the lights come down, too. It's just... And I gotta say, they w they actually put in, like, scan lines and everything, so it does look very true, like, to, like, the CRT, you know, like, old-school look of this. I'm gonna try to go for 100% here. It is uh, a five-level demo, I believe. So, yeah, really excited about this. Also, I wish I knew the name of the creator. I actually don't off the top of my head. Um, but I'm sure it's listed on their website. Big shout outs to whoever they are. I'll, I'll again, I'll be posting a pinned comment down below. Kind of shouting them out. Oh wait, I'll do this. Uh. <laughs> God. Can I try that again? Cause when you die, I remember this from my Crash 1 playthrough is, uh, when you die in, uh, in, um, Oops, in bonus levels like this. I'm just turning it down on my TV a little bit. Uh, one sec. When you die in bonus levels like this, uh, you don't actually lose a life. So, put it down to like there for me. Okay. Do this. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I was overthinking that part. Oh! On. Wait, but you don't have to get all the boxes in the bonus level, right? Hey, hold on. I'm just gonna keep it moving right now. Cause Crash 1 is weird. I'm not sure if this if this mod follows the same general rules of Crash 1. Also, I just want to point out, this is extremely frustrating. This is one of those things they could have improved on. Like, you can see on the right, there's like this hill right here. Like, come on, if you're gonna make a new version of Crash 1, let me jump over the fucking hill. It's not 1998 anymore, you know? Like... I died again. That actually did cost me a life there. Also, someone's car alarm is going off outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Right, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Oh, they do have the dash, actually. That's cool, like Crash 2. You press circle the dash. It's pretty nice. <laughs> can you guys hear the car alarm outside? The spin dashing again. So, like, in the PlayStation 1 games, there's, um... In Crash 2, you could do so you can dash and then spin to preserve the momentum, which doesn't work here. Uh, and in Crash 3, you can dash and then jump, or like spin, dash, jump, or whatever, to preserve the momentum. That seems to work a little better, but not quite exactly how it was in the original games. But that's something I wish, even though this is like meant to be a standalone thing, that is something I wish they would have preserved, was like actual movement mechanics, you know, like that. It's entirely possible that the developer of this probably did not even know about any of that. Okay, secret tape, I guess? Tony Hawk? <laughs> ja -ding. Shout out to the crowd control playthrough where the Tony Hawk special sound would play every time. Bling. Get that life up there, nice. Tony Hawk, secret tape. Yeah, if any of you guys have tried this out yet, uh, feel free to let me know your thoughts on this and... Uh... I, I don't know. What, do I want to see this be a full game? If a full game of this came out, would I play through it? Like, that's a genuine question. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if we get enough likes on this video, maybe that'll sway me. You know, let's say a thousand likes. Am I a good YouTuber yet? Oh, how many, how many is it? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. How many is it supposed to be of the of the whatever chest? It was it felt like six or something that time. Five? Maybe it's five. Hold on, let me count. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Scroll, I don't know what that is. Oh, I mi oh, you have to get the ones in the bonus. You have to get the ones in the bonus. All right, well, I'll come back here later and do that. Now I know. In the original crash, you don't have to do that, I, I think. Uka Uka trial, you can access these levels from the basement by standing in the middle. Oh, okay, let's, let's try that out. We're going down the basement. The camera just goes straight through. Yeah, this is looking like Cortex's castle over here. I guess I probably unlocked one, right? All right, let's check it out. But yeah, for like a demo, like beta thing, like it's pretty cool. I like, oh. I, I'm just kidding, I fucking hate this. This is whack as fuck. Dude, how do you make that? It's, do I need like a, hold on, maybe do a, a dash jump? Oh yeah, swag. Dude, literally, this is like actually challenging. I kind of appreciate this, hold on. This randomly went from like crash game to like Kaizo crash. Levels of crazy. What is this? This game's called uh, Crash Back in Time. Um, you can see more information in my chat by typing exclamation point sub goal, as well as a link to like the to a Crystal Fisher video with the download. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll try this a couple more times. I don't have a. I'm not really sure what to do on this two box. You know, like it zaps you. You know. Like, I've never seen the box do that before, the time boxes. I guess I'm supposed to, like, get up over here somehow. Right? How do you do this? Yeah, where's Potty at? I need some backseat crash gamers. Oh, I have double jump? No, I don't. What are you talking about? I'm pressing X. Pressing X all day. I, I have that. You get double jump with Uka. Oh, okay. Okay, so let me see. You can do it like that. Oh, I see. Okay. That's what that fucking thing is. Hold on. Do it like this. Hold on. Yeah, like that. Hold on. Oh, what the fuck? Because when you get the double jump, it's like it fucks up your momentum with the zap. So you got to like learn it. You can't just normally double jump and keep all your momentum. See, see what I'm saying? It like cancels the momentum a little bit. You have to like kind of overshoot. Sh God damn it! You have to like over. This is a challenging as fuck, by the way. I I actually appreciate this. There we go. Okay, nice. Oh. Almost. Okay. Now I got to do. Dude, how do you fucking make that? Literally, how do you make that? Maybe you gotta do like a, a, a dash like landing on the box? Does that work? I don't even know. Okay. Maybe I gotta do like a spin. Ugh, no. What? Literally what? Like, this shit is literally like fucking Mario Brothers frustration. You guys remember that shit? Hold the double jump button. I, I don't understand what you're saying with the hold button thing. I, I feel like that's not helping. Unless I'm missing something here. How are you guys- Dude, literally, how are you guys experts on this game? It's, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it doesn't matter how long a game's out. It's, your Twitch chat is going to be an expert on it. You can get ready for the back seat. Oh my god. Hold the jump button before jumping on a box. Okay. Literally, how are you an expert on this, Bandit? Like, I don't I don't understand. This shit's been out for like two minutes. Okay, hold the jump button before jumping on a box. God damn it. 
I forgot. I, I don't know the name of who made this. If someone wants to check, type exclamation point sub goal in the chat and then look at their, their website, which is linked in the Crystal Fisher video. And let me know the name of the person who made this. Dude, I have I am literally not understanding how this fucking uh how this shit works. Okay, so when you have the Uka Uka mask, they say this person who's apparently an expert on the game said hold the button. Okay, yeah, hold the button and then I see, I see. Okay, hold on. I'm starting to figure it out. Shit. You guys are the devs? Are you? I don't know. Literally, I don't know. I should have done some research before making this video, but I don't know who the devs are. Oh, you can just hold the- Okay, what? Bro, I could go- Literally, okay, whatever. Like, I literally do not understand this. Dude, I'm gonna go on their website in a sec if you guys keep trying to gaslight me into believing you guys are devs when you're not. There we go. Oop. <laughs> Dude. It just ate my fucking shit there. I'm gonna get this. God damn it. It says authors Gembit and Hukoda7. Alright, so shout outs to Hukoda7 and Gembit for making this. Neither one of those people- Don't! Neither one of those people are in my chat right now, so I, I refuse to be gaslit. Dude. Should I- should I come back to it later, do you guys think? I- at this point, I've made some big breakthroughs. I feel like I could get it now. I feel like I could do it. Dude. I'm losing- I'm losing my mind. You have to be perfect with this shit. Okay. Have to do it like this. Okay, now hold the button. Okay, I'm not gonna go for the three. I'm not- I'm just simply put, I'm not going for the three. I am not going for like the fucking fastest time trial here or anything. Dude, literally you have just enough time- Oh my god. Hold on, maybe I gotta do a double jump between each one. Yeah, I'm not giving up yet. I'm like actually really close to getting this. Okay. You have to do this. Oh, you don't have to do that. So yeah, do that. No! Oh, the timing is so fucking weird with it. You have to like know when to hold and when not to. Okay, go up there. Okay, I gotta breathe. I gotta think about this, so... Hold, do that, and hold, and then do that. Nice. Okay, got it. And then hold. Beautiful. Literally beautiful. <gasps> I should have done a double jump. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Dude, why did they make the first one of these so fucking hard? That's actually so crazy. I love this. Okay. Get, get in there. Get, I, I did not want to run off the edge or anything. Whew. Damn, GG. Holy fuck, that was intense. And the pro time is 10 seconds, I guess. If you hit all the boxes and do that shit perfect, I guess. That's crazy. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. All right. Um, next level. Oh, it's a snowy one. I'm excited to see how the snow... I love the snow aesthetic in these games. Yeah, it's a vibe. I like this one. Do I want to go down here? No, I feel like I want to go back up there and check out what's going on. I am trying to 100% these levels. I do have to go back to the first one if I want to do that. I'm, I might not be able to. We'll see. Okay, I guess I did that. Can, can you like just jump over this shit? See, this is what I'm saying. It's like, dude, if you're gonna remake a game and have it be a standalone P- I know you can just take away the collision here. Like, this is one of those things where, like, 
Where like, look, I get that he's trying to be like true to the original games or whatever and keep them like linear, but come on. Like, bruh, it's 2023. Let us jump over that. Come on, man. You know? Right? Am I, right? Am I, are we in agreement on that? Or do you guys think like, yeah, no, like, it's better, it's better this way. Dude. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the snow levels are banging. There are two paths already. I'm not talking about branching paths. I'm talking about just being able to like, just jump over a fucking thing already. Uh oh. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go. Dude, this is just shit's hard. Dude, this shit is like way slipperier, slipperier than the original, by the way. It's like almost impossible. Nope. Dude, that shit is so hard to get. That shit is on it like the way the fucking I can't describe it, but like the polygons are shaped so that they push you around at that. It's really fucked up. I don't know what that exclamation point box does. Oh, it probably activates those uh, jumping things. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it like this. See, it like pushes you this way. See what I'm saying? And I don't want to just break... Okay. There we go, nice. Just break that one. Nice! Oh my god, that was extremely difficult to do. Was that- were those, like, boxes entirely necessary? I think they're just there for demonstration. Oh, what the? Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Over here teabagging. Yeah, the classic. The classic. Oh, let me get my coffee here. Hey, coffee chuggers in the chat. You like it? You like the collision you're saying, Valerie? I mean, I, I get it. I get it that you want it to be like as true to the original as possible, even with all like the janky like what? I couldn't jump. You saw me trying to jump there. I couldn't jump. Dude, no way. I, you gotta get all the boxes and I might not 100% this, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just get through this level. Let me just get through it. Let me just get through this level for now. I kind of want 100%. I'm I'm a, I'm 100% it. Fuck it. If if I if I die again, then I'll then I'll just any percent it. But this is my last shot at the at the hundo. Go fuck with these boxes again. Yeah, I'm just gonna any percent it. Dude, I, I just want to get through this. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be stuck like all day right now. But I'll tell you what, if you're watching on YouTube right now, if you want to see me 100% this, again, leave a leave a cute comment letting me know. If you want to see me revisit this? I'd be totally- oh, I forgot to knock the thing. I'd be totally willing to revisit this again. This is a pretty fun fan game. And by the way, it it feels totally fine. I'm playing with like a DualShock 4 right now. It feels totally fine to uh, play this with controller. It does not feel like whack or weird or anything. Like the input delay is good. Everything's fine. Totally playable. Dude. Except when you miss jumps like that. Good lord. Method to do it? You have to find a speedrun method to do it. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that makes it more true to the original. 
You want to jump over that thing? You better find some weird glitchy out of bounds thing. Anyways, let's get let's keep it moving, shall we? I didn't mean that. I meant the ground pound. No, you can't chain the, the slide into a spin. I tried that earlier. You can kind of do it with the jump, but it's it's faster to just, to just slide everywhere. This is like the fastest movement. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Dude, this, is, this level is taking me forever. I am genuinely trash. Hey, look, man. I'm not. The, I don't have a crash world record or anything. Okay. I'm. I'm I got a Spyro record. All right. Let's not act like I'm the fucking king of crash or anything. Dude. Okay. Can I make this? How did I live? Literally what? And also I have I have no idea how you get the um the the secret tapes, Tony Honk. I'll go down here and grab this thing though. Now that I have the checkpoint. Dude what? My stone. Literally, what? Do I have to do it like this. I'm I'm doing the thing where you press X right when you hit the thing. There we go. I guess the timing is yeah. The timing is wonky. It's earlier than you'd think. Bonus level. Damn, that was like a cool end to the level there. Can you like just jump off either way? No, you can't. Okay, I was, oh, we can jump off that way. All right, we're just, we're just, let's just get through the level. All right, taking my sweet damn time here. I should definitely. I think I am gonna try to 100% one of these levels. We'll see, but let me just get through it first. But for now. 41 out of 81 and let's get out of here. Let's check out let's check out the rest that this game has to offer. It's just a demo after all. Let's not get too hardcore yet. Streamlining. Ooh, this is one of those uh yeah, there's like the river level. Classic. Weirdly, like, yeah, I was about to say, like, it's weird you can see the sky. Yeah, this is more like it. Oop. I'm dead. Yeah, this is more like it. Wait it. You can't be too- this is actually true to the original game, is you can't be too close to the ledge when you jump. Or like, if you land too awkwardly on the ledge, like... You gotta be like, very solid with your movement. You can't be like, barely, you know, scraping by. Like in Spyro, there's like a big concept about like, preserving momentum off of a ledge. Like, while- like, getting your mom your jump to go off a ledge, basically. But in this game, there is no such concept. Um, is he gonna go? Oh, I thought you could jump on him! What? I thought you could jump on that guy. <laughs> Where did I go? Where? What? <laughs> I went into the nether realm, dude. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, oh. Dude! Literally, okay, well, I guess you can't stand on them, but I think I just got to go. I just got to go for it. No pussyfooting around. Just go. Nice. 
Yeah. Oh, birdies. Look at a bird. And fly away. Go on. Let me check out the uh, bonus level. I haven't completed a single bonus level yet, so let me see if I can actually beat this one. It's funny how it like shows you the rest of the level there. Apparently there's gonna be a waterfall later and some grass. And some lumpers. Oh damn, I got like a million there. Oh damn, okay we're good. Some weird clipping there, but we're good. It's a better remake than the entire Insane Trilogy. What, this? I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, I am not a fan of Insane Trilogy. I gotta say, like, the new graphics, I mean, whatever. Like, I... Uh, to be fair, I haven't really given it, like, a proper shot. So, I'll, you know, full disclaimer there. Like, like I have hardly touched it ever. Okay, I think I'm out of... I'm on zero lives, right? I gotta be careful. Um, but the thing that pisses me off just as a viewer, like, watching people, like, play that game is the loading times are fucking atrocious. They're unacceptably long. When the loading times for your modern remake of a game are longer than- I'm- that was a game over. Let's see what the game over screen are. Is- no- nothing? I think now I'm at- okay, now it's a game over. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it, dude. Sucking dick over here. But yeah, it's just like, it blows my mind that that's not something compl people complain about more. It's the same thing in Reignited Trilogy. The load times are longer than the original game, which let's not like dance around the subject. These original games like came out in an era where like load times were fucked up, dude. You guys ever play Simpsons Road Rage? That game has like fucking more load than like game, you know? And so if you're gonna remake a game, like, the fact that the load times, like, making the load times better isn't a priority. Like, that shit blows my mind. Like, that, you'd think that'd be the first thing they'd try to improve, you know? But no, they'd rather have, like, crazy-ass graphics and shit. Like, which I don't give a fuck about. But really, all I want is something like this. Something that looks and feels somewhat like the original game. You know, maybe it's not exactly, you know, it's Unity, obviously. It's not the same exact engine as the PS1, but this is, like, a much better, like, as we were saying earlier, this is, like, a much better remake of Crash 1 than Insane Trilogy is, for me. Obviously, they're different, whatever, but just as far as a remake goes, like, this is the, the good one. Satisfying. Okay, that was epic. Dude, one thing is that, like, because I'm using. I need to use D pad instead of a uh, joystick. Because if I use joystick on these upward levels, I start drifting to the right. Because the way. People don't think about this, but the way your thumb is shaped when it's on the controller is when you press up, you know, you naturally pull it, like, in or out. Or your thumb isn't, like, perfectly up and down. You're doing it like a... Like, look at this motion. It's, like, not perfectly up and down. It's, like, swaying like that, right? But we think of this motion as up and down on a joystick. So there are some times where, like, the dead zones of a joystick, like, work in your favor. You know, a, a stick that's overly sensitive, like, can, uh, can actually fuck you up, even though we think of that, like, as better. I don't know. Just some stoner gamer thoughts. But yeah, I'm gonna switch to D-pad now. This should be a little easier for a game like this. Okay, now I know you can't jump on. That's one didn't have any ice levels. We did just get out of a snow level. I don't know if that, like, counts. God. 
You don't like the Spyro Remaster graphic? Yeah, I mean, me too. Obviously, me too. I prefer, like, the original graphics. So if they made a remake, I prefer it being like this, you know? And same thing with, like, any Spyro fan game or whatever. But, um... You know, I get it that most people who might be watching, like, this video right now... May, um... May not feel the same. Some of you guys may, like, actually genuinely, like, enjoy the graphics of Reignite. It's totally a, it's subjective and, like... They're not, like, bad graphics. They're just not as good as the original, to me. Because I got fucking major nostalgia glasses, you know? So, I, I don't really like having, like, the debate about, like, Oh, Reignited looks like shit. It's, like, that's just totally, like, opinion, you know? I would rather talk about the stuff that is, like, could objectively be better. Like, loading times. And, like, you know... Like, that type of thing. That, that's more, like, my type of, con like... That's like a better conversation, I feel like. Or at least there's like a more concrete point to that, because it's like... It's to be like, okay, make the art better. It's like, it's like, what do you mean, you know? But yeah, I definitely prefer the original style of, of like, you know, low-poly PS1 era stuff. But I get it that not everyone is like that. I think, but you can't, you can't grab that, huh? Yeah. Maybe you unlock them later or something. Oops. God fucking damn it. Oh, to get the tapes you have to not die in the level. Oh. Well, I failed that on every level so far. Let's see. What are the tapes? Guys, how are you fucking experts on this? Literally, how are you guys- I'm blown away that you guys know everything about this game. When it, like, literally just came out, like, a day or two ago. You guys already beat it. You guys already 100% like, world record speedrun it. Blows my mind. The guy in the video said so? Yeah, yeah. You're just trying to hide the fact that you have a world record speedrun, that you're hoarding, that you're gonna drop, you know, when someone else posts their run. I know- I know how it is, Toto. You don't have to lie to me. It's cool. Dude, oh my god. It is- it is impressively di- I think part of the thing is like the increased frame rate makes Crash like- He just like- I don't know, it's- it's not forgiving, I will say. Something about like the engine and the frame rate and stuff is just- If you think the original games are not forgiving, this is definitely not forgiving at all. You need like a solid jump for everything, you know? And yes, I am trash. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Oh, bonus level right here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I have a pity mask. Yeah. I'm just that, just that good. Shit. Oh yeah, 100% of the bonus level. I'm sick. Got lost my pity mask too. Yeah, overall, so far, I'm, I am enjoying this. That life ain't gonna trip me up this time. Nice, we made it. Perfect. No deaths. They should have given me the videotape for that one.
I don't really care about the status on the leaderboard or anything, so I just- Oh, fuck! So I just keep the times to myself. Can I exit? Warp room. Okay, next one. Castle Mania. Are there decent Spiral 1 fan games? You know, it's funny you ask that. Laura actually made a whole video about the three biggest Spyro fan games that that in their own ways have yet to really come to fruition. Um, I definitely recommend checking out her video about the subject. But she can explain it much better than I can. What I will tell you right now as a TLDR is that there is a Spyro fan game called Zara Myths Awaken and a couple others whose names escape me. Um, but all of that stuff is still like work in progress and like beta, you know, similarly to this, you know. Do fan games ever really finish? I think not. Oh, fuck. Shit. Yeah, and Zara is just one of several games. There's also, not mentioned in Laura's video, there's also, um, like, nowadays there's like mods like, um, Half-Life Year of the Dragon. Shouts to Magic Nipples, who basically made an engine, like, in Unity like this, that's even better than Reignited. And is, like, all in, like, the Half-Life. It's like a recreation of the Half-Life levels with Spyro. It's really cool. Complete with all the enemies and scientists and guards and everything. Like, it's really well made. These ca I remember when we got to these castle levels on my Crash 1 playthrough, I was already like 16 hours into the playthrough at that point. And so I was just like so dead. So all every time I see this ca castle architecture, it just reminds me of just being like so tired and just trying to get through it and just thinking like, man, here we are at the hard levels. I can't even do shit, you know? Kaboosh. Dickheads wanted to send a lawsuit to, to change the whole character. Yeah, that's just Zera is what you guys are talking about. And frankly, I prefer Zera as like the whatever fucking flying squirrel that that she I think she is. I prefer it like that. <laughs> you can just go up the slippy slide one. Dude, literally I like slide up it. That's hilarious. I don't think those, uh, stairs are working as intended. Should I just go down? Okay, nice. Am I gonna die? Okay. Okay. I don't know, this is a big- this, is, this level has some different paths to it, which I appreciate. I'm not even gonna bother. I'll hit one of them. Oh, I did get the videotape. I didn't die? Did I not die in this level? Am I fucking based? Dude, that's tight. I didn't think I'd get one of those. Okay, I see, I see. This is a big ass level though. I, I'm glad I'm not trying to 100% this, but like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, you want to see 100% of this, let me know in the comments. Fuck! Well, I already got the videotape, so we're good. This level's big though. 100% of this whole, like, thing casually, it'd definitely take me a few hours, for sure. This one's like a really far jump. I don't know exactly how to finagle this. Nice. Okay, barely making those. Okay, we're good. Do it like this. Okay, nice. The <laughs> random ass box on the stairs. Okay, okay. Dude, I think he like... <laughs> these stairs are... <laughs> when he tries to jump against the stairs, he like gets all glitchy. Yeah, the stairs need some work, but that's alright. At least, at least they are functional. Cramps, what's up, Penjis? 
Okay, well we got the t the tape there. Let's watch it. The flashback tape. Crash creator. Oh, you can like create levels in this? Or no, you can create a crash. No way. Dude, that's so sick. I didn't even realize this. You can make a fucking level? Yeah, I'm gonna put a bunch of Akus here. Make like a pyramid of Akus. Dude, that's fucking sick. Hell yeah. And then put like some fucking TNT in the middle. Play it. Oh yeah. So sick. Oh, it gets stuck there. What would it go? What would it go? What would it go? Sick level. <laughs> How do you add more landmass? Oh, it just like changes the background. Waterfall. Okay, let me, uh... Literally, how do you... <laughs> I think this is- this screen is still a work in progress. You gotta be able to add, like, more ground, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep. That shit there. Yep, I see. Now how big can we make this level, I'm wondering? Uh, I, can I just play and then go into editor mode like when I'm like over there? Okay, now go into edit mode. I'm sh there's gotta be a way. Oh, add some fucking armadillos to the shit. Doggy. Alright, um... Damn, gem. How, how do I keep going to the right, is what I'm wondering. God damn, there's all sorts of shit. Scroll right- Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, I had to use the scroll wheel. Click the scroll wheel. On my mouse. Yeah. Nice, how long does this go on for? You can do this shit for a long ass time. What, hey, what about a forwards and back- So this is like a side scroller. What about like a forwards and back level? Can you make one of those? It's repeating. Can you like change the perspective? New level. Good level. <laughs> Got him. Smiley. <laughs> Best crash level ever. Come. <laughs> I'm saving this one. <laughs> Come. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I don't know if you can make a forwards and back level. I think you can only make like a... Uh, a side scroller. Get back out of here. Leave. Alright, that's enough of that. If I'm- by the way, if I'm wrong about that, feel free to correct me in the comments about- If you can make a forwards and back level, that'd be sick. User created- Oh, uh, let's check out the flashback. 
What is this? Oh, there's another level. Oh, okay. Alright, let's try it. Do I have to get all the boxes? I'm gonna try to get all the boxes. There's a lot of boxes here, though. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> that was tight. <laughs> How is this a flashback? I don't understand that concept. Oh, I'm, I'm dumb for that. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about 100%ing this right now. Let's just get through. See what they have to offer. Yeah, you have to press X awkwardly like way before you hit the, the thing. Oops. Oh, am I fucked here? Hold on. Oh, but go quick. Oh, shit, dude, that's, that's kind of a challenge. Can't imagine someone 100 percenting this one. This is fucking intense. Oh, god damn. Dude, all these levels with the black background are like fucking Kaizo mode. Fucking barely achievable. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay. Do I even want to do this? <laughs> that was tight. I'll do that again. Fuck it. I'm pissed. I think that was the end right there, though. Hold on. I'm gonna try to 100% this. This wasn't as big as I thought. Get up there. What? How do you get up there? Am I like missing the t hold on, let me try this again. How do you get get up on that? What? How? Literally how? There we go. Yeah, you need- dude, it's so weird how, like, uncomfortably long you have to press the X button before hitting the, uh, the thing. In order to make it do the, uh, two, three, four, five, in order to make it to- in order to make it do the higher jump. Nor- because normally you'd press two, three, four, five- normally you'd press X, like, right before you hit the box. Like, when you're- right before you land on it to get the higher jump. With this, you have to press it, like, way before you land. That's what I'm talking about. Makes it weird. Sarah. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know if you were so scared. Yeah, I do. Three, four, five. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost had it. Oh, I didn't even activate the TNT, so. I'm trying to 100% this level. No, you're good. Two, three, four, five. God fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll try it one last time. Yeah, I think you just- I think the thing is you hold X. That's what someone was saying earlier. You just hold X when you want the higher jump. Which is weird to me. Is that how it works in the original games? You just hold X? You like just buffer the higher jump by holding X throughout all that? Oh. Yeah, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. One, two, three. Dead! What's some bullshit? Hold on. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, 
Bro. I was I was holding X. Uh, the whole time I was just holding X. Oh my god, I'm a dumb fuck. Two, three, four, five. Mm. Two, three, four, five. Dude, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Can I just do this? Hold on. No. Alright, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going back to the warp room. I'm gonna see if I can, uh... I think, did I unlock any more of these other levels here? Game name? You can check in the uh, description of this uh, video right here. Check it out. Um, am I stuck? What's happening? Oh, I need to click on it. All right, so we have more of these now, so let's check these out. Oh, well, we have two at least. Dude, what? You, I could go under it th this way, but not the other way? Oh, because I was like, yeah, I see why. How do we even get up this? Like, literally, how do I do this? <laughs> what? Oh wait, you need to grab this, and then just charge through the- Wait, what? Dude, how do you do this? Okay, you get the mask here. Oh wait, you do the double jump, that's right, with the Uka mask you get the double jump. Alright, alright, alright. So I gotta do this. But I still don't really- Hold on. Shit. That doesn't help me a lot, but... <laughs> Dude, I am so trash at this. Okay. I'm trying to. I need to hit the the one box first and then go over. So can I just get up there and just smack that shit? Okay. Fuck. Dude, god damn, I'm, I'm running low on steam. I am gonna bring this playthrough to a close soon, but I'm gonna at least get through this level first before I do. Okay, nice, we got that. Now I can do this. Nice. Okay, oh, careful. <laughs> I am right next to that nitro. How do we even do this? I literally have no idea. Hold on, maybe land right here. And then now you can run. Yep, yep. Dude, this is so challenging. Oh, you have to hold the button and then do that, right? Yeah. Hold the button so you get the maximum height. Okay, just ba you could just barely make that. Holy fuck. You can and you can't just do a normal jump to get up there. You have to do like the fucking dash. This is like total Yes, he is helping me. If I hit that one at the wrong time, I think I'm fucked, right? So I gotta do this carefully. Oh, no! Is it- is it over? I, I can't get up there, can I? It's over. What the fuck? Oh god, alright, fine. Dude, I had this. Dude, this double jump is fucking weird. It like cancels some of your momentum. It's it's very odd feeling. But I'm getting it. I'm figuring it out. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. Where do I go? Down here? Okay, almost, almost. Dude, I almost had that. This is a- I love the challenge. I did not expect this fan game to be so challenging. This is actually a really good challenge. Like, you gotta be, like, intimate with these mechanics. See that same shit. Take the death. Shit. Oh 
<laughs> we got this. Don't trip. Okay. Pressed it too early. Oh Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> you can still see the angel from like from my previous death. That's so good. Oh my goodness, dude. This shit is fucked up, y'all. Okay. I secretly love this. There we go. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, it's down over that way. Okay. Gotta be gotta be careful here, I don't wanna fuck it up. Oop. Hold on, I'll go to the Oh! I just ran into it. I didn't think it was gonna break. What's in here? Nothing. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping frames by the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> so fun. We're gonna get through this, y'all. This is my final boss, is this level. God. This is the final trial. <laughs> yeah, you were singing the final countdown. My girlfriend's in the bed behind me. Fuck. Just sometimes it doesn't give you the extra jump for no reason. I'm like hold I'm buffering the express. I'm holding it into the thing. And just sometimes it doesn't give it to you. And you like need it to give it to you there. Thanks gonna give it to you. You know, it's just why? Like literally why? Maybe I have to repress X in midair. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I feel like that's not how it works, though. But whatever. Dude. Just gotta keep doing it until it gives it to me. I'm pretty sure it w does work with the uh, hold though. You just hold the button. Dude, I'm trying to get the button. Jump here. Dude, why? I have no words. This shit is fucked up. I'm trash. I'm trying to go too quick. Is anyone here actually rooting for me in this stream? Are you guys- Is anyone paying any attention at all? Or are you guys just thinking, when's he gonna go back to Spyro? Ugh. More runs today, question mark? No. Fuck. No, it doesn't work in this version, Ellie. 
Yeah, it's very true to the Crash Bandicoot experience of getting frustrated and stuck. It is true to that. Which I appreciate. No, I do appreciate the challenge of this, like... There we go. Okay. Okay, nice. Furthest I've ever gotten. Now I gotta jump and then do the double jump down below because there's a nitro on the right hand side down below. No, oh, I did it too early. Oh, I did it too early. I had that though. I had the right plan. Whoa. No. God damn it, dude. They, this game is really making me work for it. Thank you, Michi. I'm glad someone's rooting for me here. Rooting and tooting. Dude, it, that jump makes no sense. I'm like, not even joking. You're supposed to hold the X press from the double jump in order to get more height, but like literally, that just it just doesn't work every time that way. So you just kind of have to get lucky there. What's up, Bubbles? You're doing some Spyro, are you? Well, good luck, sir. You stoned ass bitch. There we go, okay. Okay, nice. Okay, breathe, breathe. Here we go. You have to be like frame perfect with that shit. God damn it. Holy shit. Thank you, K. Rother. Any other game would excite me if you did Batman? Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. I know you, you feel my pain about people only wanting you to play one game. You get it. Yeah, I'm sorry, my, my I'm dropping frames left and right. I, I apologize. It just happens sometimes. I, there's nothing I can do about it. For now. You're gonna get a sub 45? You're talking about any percent? You are actually playing Spyro later. Yeah, uh, good luck, dude. We can do that. I believe in you. Sub 45, pretty good, uh, pretty good time. Fucking dude, god damn it, dude. And the frames dropping. The universe wants me to stop. I will be done soon, don't worry. I'm gonna finish this fucking level though. Fuck. so close yet so far I should be I should be have beaten this already god damn it type D for double jump all right well you you heard on YouTube fucking D for double jump I guess I guess I'm no longer the one to decide the letter it was K Rother this time How close am I gonna get? How close am I gonna get? Like really? Like how much how much better do I have to do it? 
Yeah, this is exactly how you remember Crash 1. Black screen. Fucking bare- not being able to hit stuff that should work. Because it's just inconsistent me beta mechanics. Being pushed to their limit for some reason. Fuck. You went into a Spyro stream and they didn't know you? I mean, yeah, I can believe that. Dude, I go into Spyro streams and they don't know me. It's funny, like, we think of, of speedrunning like... Yo, okay, I'm I'm Mr. World Re Oh, everyone, every Spyro streamer knows me. If I go into, like, a casual Spyro stream, they have no fucking idea who I am. And they don't care either. Even if I were to be like, I have world record in this. They'd be like, uh, okay, uh, nobody asked, you know, like... <laughs> it's funny. Oh my dude. Yeah, what is this world coming to? Not appreciating the world record holder of whatever game you play. You know what though? I, d I will say this. I fucking, I don't hate it, but it does kind of irk me a little bit when like I am just playing some casual game. Like say I'm playing this or another crash game and then the world record holder comes in and starts telling me what to, especially if it's like a deep cut, like random weird game that only like a couple people speed run. When the world record holder is like the one fucking backseating you on a game like that, it's like, okay, like, relax, you know? It's because you, because to me, I feel worse telling the, the world, like, you know, someone who's actually good to stop backseating, but it's like, alright, shut the fuck up. Thanks for the tip. Because they're always going to be right, like, with everything they say. They'll always have a fucking answer to whatever question you have. When in reality, you just need to figure it out yourself. Dude, it fucking, it just makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. I just have to keep doing that until it works. As I said, it's just like a buffered X press, essentially. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Really dumb. Really dumb that they're trying to exploit like a buggy, a buggy mechanic to its full. Like that mechanic just needs more work straight up. This, I would be done with this like way sooner if it weren't for that. Without having to get lucky there. Have a good night, Harry. Thanks for popping in. I just gotta keep trying. I just gotta keep, I just, however many attempts this takes, you know, and then hopefully don't fuck up the end again. Can I just do, can I just do a normal hop over that? No, I feel like I have to do the uh, the dash, right? I'll try the normal hop. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't work. I mean, maybe it does, like just barely. Pray for me. <sighs> big moment, big moment. I gotta push my glass and take my coffee. Hold on. This could be it. What? Huh? <laughs> what? Bro, what? Dude, what? <laughs> Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Can I go this way? Oh! No! <laughs> I'm st it's fucking soft log. Alright, well I win. I fucking win. That's it. I think that's a good place to end it for now. Guys, thank you for watching my first time ever playing um uh this crash what's it called? Crash into back in time. Crash back in time. Thank you guys for watching this. If you made it all the way to the end of the YouTube video, type D for these nuts. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Again, if you want to see me put more time and effort into this, maybe 100% it, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. This is genuinely a really fun mod. So, regardless of what I do, be sure to check it out down below. I'll have a link in the pinned comment. But in any case, stay cute, stay sexy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.